that I'm very lucky enough to be in a professional environment, very, a very thriving environment. I learn skills in terms of how to present myself, how to interact with people, how to learn things, um, how to do well in academics, how to look for jobs. We need to also look after that sector as well of the kids. Mm. Like Jewish communities, uh, Muslim communities do this really well. They look after their own. And what you'll find is that creates a whole new pathway for investing in your community because the people that are learning Sikhi are going to high places mm. and they'll protect Sikhi and make it flourish there. But also what that opens up to is a whole new kettle of fish. This Punjabi Sunday Sikhs that wouldn't come to an Amritullah program might help out with mentoring. Mm. And that's something we're actually working on, a mentoring database. Mm. Um, I know so many Aparani that are in very, very high positions. And if you ask them, yo, do you want to come to a Sukhmi side? I'm like, Shad I'm not coming. You know? yeah. If you ask them, yo, would you mind uh, doing work experience with this young kid that comes to the Sikhi class? They'll be like, yeah, let's bring him in. Yeah. You know? And then that will be their entrance to Sangat. Mm -hmm. you know? So the possibilities are endless. This is something I was going to come on to at the end, but we all have a role. It might not be making langar. It might not be, you know, doing Amrit Billah Diwan. It could be anything. And I, I would say, get involved with what you enjoy. My passion was teaching kids because I'm a teacher as well. So that's what we got involved with. You know, if you enjoy sports, make a sports team for your Gurdwara. If you enjoy writing, make a news article for your Gurdwara. Have the Gurdwara, the Facebook page, the social media. Mm. Um, yeah, the possibilities are endless. It's all about hitting that small circle of influence and just watching Guru Sahib expand it. Anji. And just one story that comes to mind, if I remember it correctly, was um, when uh, Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj and Pai Maradana Ji and Pai Bala Ji were traveling <clears throat> to a village and the people in the village were actually really raw to Guru Sahib Ji mm. and, to, and to the Guru Sikhs with them. And uh, Guru Sahib Ji said to them, I hope you guys stay here. <laughs> right? And then, then they carried on to another village and they showed him a lot of love. In that village and then Guru Sahib said I hope you guys all spread out and you all leave this village right Anji. and Pai Maradana Ji got quite confused right saying that you know the ones that were so nice to you you told him that I hope you guys spread out and don't stay in this one village mm -hmm. but the ones that were kind of raw and, and rude to you you hope that they all stay together and uh, you heard the story yeah Anji. Anji and then Guru Sahib explained to them that the reason for that was because the ones that had the good divine qualities and the loving qualities they should be going they should be spreading out spreading it to everybody yeah but those that are, you know, the selfish, rude ones, they should just stay to themselves, right? Yeah, yeah. And not spread out. And that's kind of like what Sikhi is, right? That we're meant to be taking it out, taking it to, to the whole of the world. But like you said, in different professions and inspiring people that, like you said, if you're an accountant, like you mentioned earlier, um, if you've got different types of skills, then you should be bringing them into the Guru Kaad as well. But taking them out into your fields.